Give firefighters the right tools and we can get the job done. Pulling hose, forcing doors, or throwing ladders, we always try to put our people in the right place to save lives and property. But are you using all the tools in your firefighting toolbox? One tool often overlooked is the deck gun. Many firefighters and company officers consider it solely a defensive weapon and not an initial attack option. Obviously, this method of attack is not always an option. Limited access, obstacles, or potential for water damage that exceeds the fire threat may call for traditional deployment of hand lines. The decision to use big water from the deck gun belongs to the captain, while the effective use of the tool rests with the crew. LA Engine 3 at 1320 Northeastern Avenue. I have a one-story residential structure with an exterior fire at the AD corner. from engine three on command. You'll have fire attack off engine three. Take an inch and three quarter hand line and stretch it to the front door. Check the interior for extension. Upon arrival at a working fire, it is suggested you secure a water supply. Although securing a water supply prior to putting the deck gun in service is ideal, this may not always be possible. Even without an immediate water supply, it may be beneficial to use the deck gun for a short period of time to control the fire. After or during the short application of water, the proper hand line should be deployed to check the interior for exposure, conduct search and rescue, or knock down any remaining fire. This can be accomplished by the first in engine crew or assigned to other resources as they arrive. With many of our engine companies being staffed by three personnel, dynamic incidents can be a challenge for even a well-trained fire company. Utilizing the deck gun can help overcome these challenges as it allows for control of the fire while maintaining incident priorities company unity, safety, and incident command. The company officer can perform a 360 degree building assessment while the firefighter begins incident stabilization and the engineer secures a water supply. We've given you another tool for your toolbox. Now go out and train. So when the opportunity presents itself, you'll know when to use it. And remember, don't forget the dead gun.